Welcome to Crochet Chat with Selena from Simply Collectible Crochet.com and Misty with American Crochet.com. How are you guys doing today? We've missed everyone. It's been it's been an interesting summer. Do yes. you find <laughs> that you're reevaluating things over the summer and starting new schedules and such? And Katie, I'm sorry I couldn't get to tagging you any better than I did, but we're here and I hope you make it. So tell us if you're joining us today. Tell us who you are and where you are. And even tell us if by chance you have a temperature of under 100 degrees, because I would love to hear if that is possible at all, anywhere. Everyone is just melting all over the U.S., and other countries, I'm sure, as well. So we're just hanging, trying to get back in the groove of doing our live video chats, and we're hoping to be able to do this close to weekly. Yeah? Don't you think? Yeah, we can do that. Next week will be a little hairy, but we can manage. We do meet weekly, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're organized well enough and have the time to do a live video. So we're grateful to be able to do this today. It's been two weeks, um, three weeks by date, I guess, three weeks. I don't know if it's yeah, been- Yeah, I think it's three. I somewhere it's between 30. 15 days and 21 days since we've had our last video. Um, but, you know, we, we do what we can when we can. Hi, April. How are you today? So, we're just hanging out. Um, we did want to show you some of our scrubby yarns that we got from Red Heart Yarns this last week. And Misty has a project in the works. Do you want to show your project or just the yarn? I can show the project. Well, because, you know, the way I have it connected at the moment, it'll have to be both. Okay. okay. Do you want help? Sure. There's not okay. a yellow. Citron. Oh, it looks like my battery is low. That's very sad for me today. Okay, so we have the citron and we have green tea for the scrubby. So this one is the sparkle, scrubby sparkle. And that one is traditional scrubby. And Correct. these are the newer red heart yarns that have come out. And you're doing, a, you're making a little thing. I am making a little thing. It's not completely finished, but it will be before the week is over. That is so oh. cute. And somehow this sparkle looks really super fuzzy. So it seems like it's not going to do any cleaning, but let me tell you, these have some scrubby power in them. Yes, I love my scrubbies. I have three or four in the, in the kitchen at the moment. And this will be going in there next. And it's amazing too, because you think that if you get just one skein, you're gonna get you're just going to be able to make one project out of them, but I found that I have so much yardage left over. Let oh, me yeah, see. There's I'm a ton get of mine. yardage. There's like, um, oh dear goodness, I don't want blank. Um, I'm drawing blanks too. Excuse me for turning my back. Here's the deal Red Heart has going while we're, while we're thinking. I think you can see it on both. And I'm going to look something up real quick. Mm-hmm. Because my pattern... I'm my yarn. What are you looking for? Oh. Um, blum, blum, blum. I think you're close. I think I'm overlooking You're it. close. I'm right here. See? Told you we're Oh, it's a little it. It's 174 baby. yards for the sparkly. And it's 92 yards for the traditional scrubby. I absolutely love working with both. I can't wait to put out a few more patterns to go with them. I wanted to see. Stick that back Something in the bag Something I wrote there. about mine, but I I don't know where it is. So show us your scrubby. So this is my flower power scrubby. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. And actually my husband was, he's the one who does the dishes for us because osteoarthritis, you know kind of tough sometimes. So he does all our dishes and he is very excited to use this for me to let it go to the sink. Mm -hmm. But I'm still carrying around and taking pictures. Um, you can't really see 
what the stitch work is here. I can see it real well with the sun on the opposite side, but you might think it's a little tough to work with when you start your first chain because it's hard to see the stitches, but on purpose, we've we've made them and a lot of the other designers that are working with this have made it so they're really super easy to stitch up so don't get discouraged they're they're really good I'll get my colors I think I'm gonna call my scrubby a citrus square but I haven't really decided yet so if y'all have any ideas let me know let her know so I made my scrubby with tropical and lime Ooh, love that makes me think of watermelon in a way I know it does, doesn't it? <laughs> and they're both um, the traditional one, and I have the sparkle, scrubby sparkle, oh, which there, there's the the other citrus. Is that? Yeah. yeah. So that one's traditional, and then the sparkle. Oh, <gasps> grape! I'm so excited. I'm gonna make. Um, I'm going to make some spa items with Ooh. this one. So nice. probably like a back scrubber for the shower and um, maybe like a foot scrubber, exfoliator. So when you work with this, what do you think? What's your first thought? You know, I ha since I haven't done this one, this this one looks really different. I mean, this is, this is quite different from the it other one. It is really different. And for me, I just feel like it's almost like playing with Easter other, grass. Okay. <laughs> that's oh, why it reminds me of Easter. I, I don't know sure why, is. but so they so. they're a little bit different, almost but like not eyelashes. by much in a way, you know. So. Yeah. Oh, eyelashes. Let's see if we can <laughs> fashion some sparkly grape eyelashes, and it it would come with the eyeliner too. <laughs> it doesn't work very well with my with my glasses, but you can probably get an idea. Um, See, this is what we do every time we're together, but y'all just miss that part because that's, we try to contain the craziness. <laughs> and why it takes a long time for us to get going on our videos. Yes. So they do feel different and they are, they are different, mm -hmm. but I imagine this one is going to be a little bit, the grape sparkle is a little bit easier to see the stitches, but this one is probably going to give you a more intense scrub the traditional right. scrub. I like the way they worked up together though. I mean you've got this fuzzy soft but then you've got a more defined I hate to say scratchy part but you know it, you can just tell the difference between the two and putting them together is awesome. I love working with it. I can't wait to get well, some Well it more looks colors. really cute. I mean it's visually visually um, appealing mm -hmm. as well. I like it. I like it. So those are our summer patterns because we can't work with a whole lot other than <laughs> scrubby cotton. or cotton or and you know um, Marie from Underground Crafter has a great post that she put up yeah, um, actually she posted it in my group. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. I have Kathy. A, a new group um, that I started uh, for crochet news, free crochet patterns and crochet news. And it's predominantly designers that are posting their links to the group. Uh, but Marie posted a link in there for summer patterns. Let mm -hmm. me see if I can dig that up. I'm not having a whole lot of luck. Hi, Sarah. Getting, getting things up. So hers is Yarn Lover's Guide to Great Summer Projects, and that is at undergroundcrafter.com. I'll see if I can get I think close she gives to you URL four you. different tips on what to use, whether it's your yarn, your hook, changing things up a little bit. It's a really great um, piece of information. You should go check that out. Yeah, it really is. She's covering um, not only the lighter fabrics, but one thing that I had not even thought about because I don't use aluminum hooks much anymore was changing changing the the type of hook that you're using mm -hmm. so going toward a bamboo or or something like that would be a little bit easier but you can see her oh I just thought of something too 
you can find hers. It's Yarn Lover's Guide to Great Summer Projects, undergroundcrafter.com. So thanks, Marie, for that great post. And comment on her post, too. Let her know what you think about it. Um, so you said you thought something about else. hooks. Yes, yes, yes. I just remembered mm -hmm. that Misty has <laughs> some hooks that I've been wanting to try out. Okay, so we'll start I'm with the big ones. These out. Tell us about these hooks. Okay. My battery is dying. Do we Hang need to grab there. your So charger? if you lose me, um, I don't know where my charger is. Should I go grab your charger? Yes, go grab. Here, I'll be right back. Okay. So um, in the meantime, I'll try to figure this out. Um, but then you'll probably be upside down because the charger's on the bottom unless somebody knows. Oh, I see how to rotate it. I hadn't noticed that before. So I'll still be here. Misty, you're so fast. I'm trying. <laughs> you're so fast. Okay, so see. Misty has these in her Etsy shop. And oh, dear they're, oh, they're so light. Okay, I hope that's the camera. I remember. <laughs> Sorry, I remember honey. seeing a post somewhere. So let me, I'm going to switch. You don't get dizzy. Oh, no, that's the outside. Okay. So I'm going to hold you and make you a little dizzy. So I hope that's okay. If you're watching on American Crochet Group, then you've been okay. You don't notice the shakiness. But if you're on Simply Collectible Crochet Group, <laughs> you're, you're feeling like you're on a roller coaster. Ooh. Hope not. Okay, so now what were you saying about my hooks? I don't know. But I did see that somebody posted about how to keep your your wooden hooks fluid by using um, oil, lotion? There's I know there's different ways to clean them. And I think it depends on the hook. Um, like I, I love to work with Brittany hooks. They have their own cleaning. It's a, a wax to put on there occasionally. Um, and sometimes you can just take a, a damp cloth and wipe them off. I don't have that issue a whole lot. I try not to put lotion on my hands right before I'm going to use my hooks because then things don't want to slide like they're supposed to. Uh, I, but again, I think it just depends on what brand you're using. I think Furls has a tutorial too for their hooks on how to clean them. Oh, that's good. Um, I also, don't remember if it was Sick Little Monkeys or... Oh, somebody. I'll try to find it. Sarah, oh, Sarah uses coconut oil. Okay. That's a good That's idea. That's a good idea. Does <laughs> that, is it, um, I know when I use coconut oil on my hands or in my hair, it kind of feels like it leaches or leaks a little bit and kind of spreads, but maybe do you, do you work it in with a cloth or rub it off afterward? How do you do that? Let us know. Um, so tell us about your hooks. Okay. So outside of my Brittany hooks, I like to work with Knitter's Pride. Um, so here is the Knitter's Pride Dreams. I don't know how well you can see this. That color is so pretty too. I like working with these a lot more. I'm not a huge fan of um, Susan Bates as much as I like the Boyer. Uh, I think it's just how the throat is worked. And I seem to catch my thread a lot better, so I like working with the Boyer or any anything that has that kind of um, the throat part of it more than anything. But I also like to work with wooden hooks more than a metal hook. Just, I don't know, there's something about that wooden hook <laughs> that I just like a lot. But you can find these on my Etsy shop. Um, just go to Etsy.com and it's like... American crochet and you'll find them I'll also post that link when we're done super and we do put copies of our videos on YouTube and write a post about them as well with the links from the projects or different posts that we've discussed in our own posts I think I said that kind of funny but as long as you understand then it's okay I'll be okay <laughs> And, you know, if you're not a fan of the slender hooks like the Knitter's Pride or um, 
the boyer, you can also try the furls hooks. The they're designed to um, you have a different grip with them, and it makes your hands not hurt. For those that the more crochet, their hands you know start to cramp and things like that. Um, or for those who have arthritis, those are really good. They come um, as metal and um, as wooden. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have mine laying right here, and I hate to run off again to go grab mine. But both of those are good, and you can find them on my website as well. Is it pronounced boy? I was thinking boy, but maybe it's not. I don't. You can make it boy. Well, I'm um, gonna be I fancy about it. So, so who knows? Who knows how it's pronounced? We want to make everything fancy. Hi Connie. Hi Juanita. Um. So is it boy? Do you do you skip the O? I mean, skip the E. Where is my brain today? If anybody <laughs> has seen it, please send it back. I don't know where it is. Nonetheless, we're having a good time, aren't we? Um, so what else? I mean, okay, well, show, tell us, tell us, show us. So I recently also received some yummy baby hugs yarn, and just oh, I couldn't believe I got my own skein of baby hugs because I really wanted to take Selena's, but she wouldn't give it to me. So I had to ask our favorite person, Margaret from Red Heart, to send me some so I could work. Up a new pattern. Isn't it heavenly? This is going to be our baby blanket. And it's using the medium. I have to switch arms. And the color is aloe. And then, oops. Okay. I hope I'm not shaking you guys too much by holding it because I'm charging. It's on better, your, better my planning yarn next time. Up on the other one okay so then oh that is so pretty uh, okay so then here's the lightweight baby hugs and it's uh dolphin i love the names so then this is going to be what goes on the teether oh that's so cute i'm having so much fun working with the tunisian i don't work with it a whole lot so it took me a little bit of time to get used to it but I'm having absolutely fun working those up. It's nice to break things up. Yeah, just and have a break from your regular mm -hmm. row of stitches and mm -hmm. do something new. Like, you'll notice from a lot of my patterns, I go through phases where I just have to get in a groove and do either a lot of mesh or a lot of V-stitch or, mm -hmm. you know, you just kind of get in that place where you feel comfortable with it and you kind of marry it. <laughs> Yeah, you have a relationship with it. When you get a it. stitch and you lock it, you're like, oh, I could do this with it and I can make this with it. And so then you're with like 15, 20 patterns with that same stitch, but it's going to look different because you have a scarf, you have a cowl, you have a blanket yeah, or, or whatever. So. Yeah. And maybe it is kind of like an itch that you have to scratch. Right. So Connie is telling us the proper pronunciation, but so the E is silent, Connie, is that right? So pronounced boy as in boy and girl. And that's that's what I imagined, but mm, we don't know. Well, I'm going to stick with my word. I just want to say it loud because <laughs> I like it. I like it. Well, yeah, I know. I know. I know. You are. And the part of what I live, but you know. <laughs> True, though. But, so, yeah, it's nice to kind of switch up the stitches and go from your your basic, your routine mm -hmm. and kind of shift it up, you know, like switching switching to Tunisian or switching even to knitting or something like that. Like, I even went out and got the, the ultimate sweater machine, which I loved and used that backwards and forwards for all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. And... Um, now I don't even touch it. I love it. I'm a crochet girl, so mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Well, I guess that's why I can't get the yarn from one needle to the other with knitting. It's because I, I can crochet a lot quicker than I can even comprehend the rest. So I feel like I need an extra hand when I'm knitting. Mm -hmm. So once the project gets a little longer, I can, I can get it. But crocheting, I could do it with my eyes closed. Right. Well, now I can. Some stitches. Not all. <laughs> Oh my goodness, no. Some would just be all over the place. 
So thanks for joining us today, everybody. It's been really neat. We didn't really have anything planned, but um, it's nice to just be here and show up and try to get back in the groove. Uh, a lot of schedules are, are changing and kids are going back to school, so we'll try to focus a little bit more. What was that look? Because I thought we had a kid in here, oh. but we don't. <laughs> <laughs> thought Grayson was trying to be sneaky. Um, so. They're upstairs. Mm -hmm. Playing their uh, video games. As you can imagine. Fun. Well, that's what I would be doing. Well, we're doing what we're what we consider fun so. right so oh and don't forget to check out crafting a rainbow of hope for july and august it, it's um, me. Oh. what huh? which yeah which i totally <laughs> it's like i'm so sorry it's just kind of like what's my brain so it's many hoods of love that we're going to be donating to for july and august it's going to be completely different from what we've been doing. You, it's not really that you're going to be donating a hat or a square or a scarf or anything like that. But you'll be making miniature little ponies to be donated oh. to the um, patients that are seen. Whether it be in hospice, at the hospital, or wherever many Hives of Love travels to share the horses and just give those patients... Um, that therapy that, that's needed and just share love. So when they're done, they drop off a, a pony for each person that they visited that day. So it's many, M-A-N-Y, many, M-I-N-I, yes. -I -I, hooves, H-O-O-V-E-S. Yes. But they can find the information on Crafting a Rainbow of Hope. Correct. And it's also ah. in the group. It's There's an event page. I'm sharing it everywhere so just look out for that oh that sounds super cute they actually have a pattern for the ponies if you don't know how to make one that's completely fine you'll see that link in my crafting a rainbow of hope for july and august so make sure you look for that super so much to keep up with bye sarah bye sarah thanks for joining us connie thank you so much so yes boy just like a boy and julissa Eyes closed. Wow, I keep poking myself. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I didn't say it was easy. It just. <laughs> I didn't say it looked great either, but there are times when you can really get in the groove and crochet with your eyes closed. Doing a hat seems to be fairly simple if you're just going in the round and mm -hmm. um, going working in a spiral. But yeah, try it. So I'm holding the phone because I'm charging and my arm is shaking and I'm getting it in front of Misty's and it's all kind of messy. You but just keep putting your finger in your face. And my finger, <laughs> yeah. And I have something in my eyes. I don't know what it is, but I keep like getting this weird blinky thing going on. But we appreciate you guys meeting us today. Am I forgetting anything? I'm sure we are, but that's just how it goes. I can't really think of anything. Um, Outside of, I am in the works of putting together a giveaway that will start this month. I just don't have all the logistics on it yet. Um, so stay tuned. Be sure that you're paying attention to the page to see that giveaway. Uh, it's in honor of my daughter's birthday, my birthday, and American Crochet's birthday. And then one of my friends, the Lavender Chair, Doriana, her birthday is this month. So there's just like so many that we decided to do a couple of giveaways. So just be on the lookout for that. That's fun. And I'm hoping to do a giveaway as well, though I don't have any details about it yet. And don't forget to go look up my Flower Power Scrubby Pattern on the blog. If you go to simplycollectiblecrochet.com, you'll see it on the front page. It's still there on the front. And um, I don't know. Oh, huh. One more thing, I just released a video last night on how to build your blocking board. Okay, so you don't have a nice. board that fits what you need at the moment, or you go to the store to buy supplies and uh, they don't have what you need. No worries, I can help you out with that. So be um, on the lookout for that on the page. And it is titled Tips and Tricks Tuesday How to Build a Blocking Board. Very nice. So we'll be putting all those links in the blog post and hopefully we'll be able to get back to this post where you're watching the live video now. So save it. 
and you'll be able to find all the links to everything we've talked about today. Yeah. So, and then it. if anything else comes up, we'll put it in our posts. If we didn't remember to remind you to remember reminding you, reminding <laughs> us, um, it'll come up somewhere. It's okay. And <laughs> we'll see you next week, I hope. All, all goes well. We really are going to try to do this once a week. And if anything changes, we'll let you know. And if you want to see anything we're not covering now, let us know. Um, hope you have a great day. I know it's beautiful out there for some people and everyone is finishing up their summer plans. Yeah, we're supposed to get some rain. We're hiding. Now. We are hiding. It's humid and hopefully it'll be rainy. Rained a little bit yesterday. Um, I hope you get mellow rain and nobody, nobody storms or floods out. So have a beautiful day. Subscribe to us on YouTube. So you can get all the latest videos, subscribe to simplycollectiblecrochet.com and americancrochet.com and crochetstreet.com and patternplaza.com. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it, right? Do it. Is that all the links? Do it now. <laughs> and we'll talk to you later on, okay? Bye, Thanks everybody. for joining us. Bye. Have a good day.